Welcome back to Market Pros and let's get into it. All right, so here we got Bitcoin on the one hour on Bybit. So all your moving averages have positive slopes. You did get this moving average signal multi crossover right here. That would have got you long. Um, you, know, you did have a nice move since then. RSI is in the trying to get into the bullish control zone all the way. You are above the signal line. You came back down for a retest, resumed off, resume, resumption off, and you need to stay above, um, basically forty one, basically forty two k, in order to not cross that signal line to the downside. All right, MACD, fresh cross to the upside. Positive momentum is increasing. Vol is trying to get up into the uh, back up into the upper zone. Um, so if we can stay, if we can stay how we are right now, it, this is at least short term bullish. Let's move on to the four hour. All right. So here on the four hour, um, moving average, you are getting the crossover of the 21 and the 50. Your 100 has a negative slope. Your 200 is basically flat. You are trying to get in the bullish control zone as well on the four hour. You did get the rejection the first time. But like I said, usually you do get the rejection the first time after it tries for a second time. Usually it's more probable that you can get in there. Um, it doesn't always do it. And sometimes it gets rejected the second, the second time as well. But it's just, it ups the probabilities. So MACD. Your negative momentum was, or your positive momentum was decreasing for a while, but it looks like you're printing two dark green bars right now. Your, uh, you do have a positive slope. Now, the vol is in the lower zone. So, we could range out here for a second. And I'm going to tell, I mean, we're going to go over the bullish and bearish case here in a second. Uh, so, you could get rejected from here and come all the way back down to the 21. And still, if you get a wick down and close above this last low, that's going to be bullish. And a lot of it's going to depend on how this four hour closes, whether we got a higher high or not, uh, which we have been operating on higher highs and higher lows now. Uh, we since we had this little bit of a trap, uh, you know, it looked like you were breaking the bottom of the range, came back down and then it had these fake barts. You know, a while now, if this thing rolls back over, that's not going to look good. If this thing rolls back over and it starts coming down, I think it makes uh, a lower low than this low. I think it'll come back down to the range low at basically 38, 850, well, 38, 900. We'll call it that. And then I would expect this to break if it does come back down here. Um, so if this rolls over, or just go sideways from here. That's going to look a little more bearish. We need to break out past this red zone. Uh, I have had this red zone drawn for a while. Um, so we are getting the rejection from here. Uh, and well, we're hitting resistance from here. We're not, it's not confirmed that we're getting rejected from here just yet. So if we can break out of this range, I would expect a small pullback from the 200 at 43, 200 and maybe come back down, test the top of this at 42, 700, test the top of the uh, red region. And then I would, you know, look for a resumption off up to 44, 600. If we can pass, if we can get past 45 K. I think we make, I think we get back above 50. Um, so definitely pay attention to that. Now I am still leaning towards a little, I'm, I'm like, I'm probably like 45% bullish, 55% bearish. I mean, I'm almost neutral leaning a little bit more towards the bearish side. This could be a trap. Now let's put on a fib to this last breakdown point and let's see what we've gotten up to so far so right now we've we're getting rejected from the 1414 and 
We did get past all these, so we got past the boulder trap area um, at the 0 0.618. Uh, so, yeah, we need to get back. We need Just like this red region, we're going to move this up a little bit, actually, to where it lines up with that 618, that 1618. So that's your levels. And if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel uh, or like the video. It takes one second. You might not even have to scroll down depending on what computer you're using. Uh, it's a free way to support the channel. Everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you in the next one.